Hello, YouTubians. <laughs> this is Mr. Angus Wangus making a short video, but hopefully you find it uh, full of information here. Anyways, I'm making a short video just to give an idea. Um, I need to make more videos showing diagrams, schematics, and things like that of my ideas. And I will be doing that. And I I kind of want to start by by showing you guys this. Pardon me. Okay, so this here is a diagram. This actually is uh, from Nikola Tesla's Bifiler patent. But this diagram right here is um, a diagram of a normal coil, right? So pretty much all generators motors, windings of any really sort are wound in this fashion. Um, the electricity goes through the coil really fast <laughs> and um, as it does it creates a magnetic field which uh, can drive a motor right or it can be used in reverse. You can put the coil next to uh, a spinning wheel with magnets on it and you can generate electricity so you can use electricity through it and run a motor which is basically like uh, well no I'm not even gonna go there you can you can either run electricity through it and use the magnetic field uh, with a motor or to do a lot of different uh, applications or you can use it as a generator. You can have a mag, uh, fluctuating magnetic field near the coil and you can generate electricity with it, right? That's what a generator is. It's a, like say a, a gas engine hooked up on a shaft to uh, basically a wheel with magnets on it or coils on it surrounded by magnets, whatever the design and you burn the gas and it turns the wheel and makes electricity in coils and that's how a generator works right very basic stuff and I don't mean to go too slow for a lot of the people who watch my videos but I want to make this per my idea here I'm going somewhere here uh, perfectly understandable for everyone because this relates to the concept that I've been showing in my most recent videos so that's a normal coil setup, and that's the way things have been for a long time, right? But also for a long time, we've known about this. Now, this is uh, Nikola Tesla's bifiler wound pancake coil, right? This is a flat, it's supposed to be flat, his pancake design. And you wire it, uh, there are two wires going in and they spin around and they come out on the outside of the circle right one finishes here in this case and the other continues on and just finishes up here so it's what's called a bifiler coil there are actually two wires wound in the same spot so his patent here was to show that you send the electricity in his bifiler design you send the electricity through this top wire here and it goes in and it goes around and around and around and around and when it comes over here it comes back here and then back through the loop again right and around and around and around and around and then finished here so you have a start here and a finish here and it goes in and around and around and around and around and then it goes in and around and around again and then it comes out right and again uh, this can be used as a motor or a generator or either way same as the other coil design but with his design and this is uh, the uniqueness of the design it puts out and I'm not sure about the, exactly but I think double the magnetic field with this design um, with this design it gives out a, a greater magnetic field right which can be uh, very useful for if you're driving a motor right more magnetic field means you're going to drive the motor better right 
or if you're passing a magnet by this thing, you're going to generate more electricity, right? But here's what I think, I, and I think that a lot of these old patents are this way. Surely they wouldn't let Tesla patent something and make it public um, that is revolutionary, right? But they're going to let them patent something like this, right? But I think that Tesla's intention originally was not to patent it like this in this particular way shown right here. This is from his patent. Not wired in this way. If you think about it, this is exactly what I'm doing. And what you, what you would do differently is disconnect this right here, where it's connected and goes back in. What you do is you connect these two wires together. So essentially, at the middle, it, there's going to be a connection, or out here, these two wires. And then this wire would be connected to this wire, right? So you have these two connected here, and then this one disconnected from that one, and this one connected with that one. And then this spot right here where you connected these two wires, and the spot where you connect this wire with this wire, are going to be your tapping points, just like I've been doing with my PMH and um, tapping the bucking coil thing that I've been working on here, my free energy project. This is the same thing. So you connect it like I just told you, just like my two coils are wound in two opposite directions, which this would be. It would be in going this way, right? And then it's, or let's say you start at the outside, it's going to go and then come into the middle. And then it's going to go right back the way it came. Just like the two coils that I have are wound in opposite directions and they're wired. If you look on the uh, video I made two weeks ago, it shows that. And, and again, I'm going to show more videos showing my diagrams and things. But I wanted to show you guys that this is the same thing. It's just a matter of how you look at it. And um, there are a lot of other ones out there, you know. I suspect Hendershot, maybe. I think Stephen Mark was doing something with this. Um, Kapanadze, this is, I've been meaning to mention this for two weeks now. The Kapanadze device, um, if you look closely at the coil windings, you have a, a clockwise and then it stops and the same wire goes counterclockwise. It does. That's how they make those coils. I made one. There's a video in my uh, videos there of that. And that's how I made it. But I didn't know then, you know. But that's the same idea. It's the clockwise on top of the counterclockwise, right? Same wire. This is the same thing. So if you wired it the way I said, just connect the these two and then connect this one with this one and then you connect a resistor between them between this spot and these two will be together so they're together and these two are together and you put a resistor between them and it's the same as what I've been doing now this can be placed between two magnets passing or uh, the idea that just came to mind um, was uh, JL not ends uh, most recent uh, project the Jijini. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Please pardon me. <laughs> but um, that's what he's working on is this bifiler coil design. And um, I think it can be something more. And I think in Tesla intended it that way. So there you go. There's just one idea. Um, you know, this would be really easy to work with for anyone who wants to try it out. So there you go. And I think this can, again, Cap and Adzi probably used the same underlying principle. I think probably Hendershot did. I think probably Stephen Mark as well with his TPU. Um, Tesla designs for sure. I think that anywhere you see this by Filer design in his patents, I would have another look. But there you go. I'm going to have more and more videos. I'm at a point now 
where I got my wheel tucked away. But I'm at a point now where uh, I'm not going to be hunched over that thing quite as constantly. So I'll be at points where I can make videos more and more often. But um, there you go. Just an idea. Tell me what you think. Um, and have fun. Talk to you later.